Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Astaghfirullah Wa atubu ilayk Astaghfirullah Wa atubu ilayk Astaghfirullah Wa atubu ilayk I think For many of us As Muslims one of the joys and favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who are conscious about it is the fact that the door of repentance is open. That at times a person can commit a sin in the very same evening. But to know that the door of repentance is still open for you in the morning when you arrive to the morning if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors you with that opportunity that you can still come back to your Lord. That that is a great na'mah from Allah. That gives the believer hope. That gives the believer hope. Hope and fear, which are two forms of ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're two forms of worship. And that the slave is hopeful for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And fearful of the punishment, striving to stay away from those sins. And those things which displeases Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And so, what keeps us and gives us hope is to know that that door of repentance is open for us. That at this very second, you can come back to Allah if it's sincere. As we mentioned the conditions for Toba, that a person should stop doing the sin they should be determined not to return to the sin and they should feel sorrow for the sin that they committed or sins that they have committed those are the conditions for toba toba to toba to nusuha for a, 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 an honest toba, a real toba, a real repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, really coming back to Allah, is by having those conditions. So, if a person has those conditions, have met those conditions, and seeking to come back to their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them. So that gives us hope. That helps the heart. I know it gives me hope. Because at times, as I mentioned, you fall into something, you catch yourself sinning, you catch yourself making a mistake. And then realizing that at that moment, you can come back to Allah. Right at that moment, you can leave the sin. Or even after you've done the sin, if you meet those conditions, you can be free. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. That's what we need. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. We need his forgiveness. And this is why the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Ya yun nas, tubu ila Allahi wa staghfiruhu, fa inni utubu fil yawmi miyatamra. Ruahu Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, O oh, O you, uh, O mankind, seek repentance or repent to Allah. Repent to Allah. Seek His forgiveness and seek His forgiveness. For verily, I repent daily 100 times. This is the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What about us? We're in need. Of coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and repenting to Him, seeking His forgiveness, His favor. So keep that hope, keep the hope alive and know that you can come back. That whatever state that you're in now, you can better yourself. And that's keeping that positive attitude and that positive outlook regarding your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that He forgives you, knowing that there's still hope and His blessings and favor, His mercy. 
is 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 open. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us his mercy and his favor and bless us to be of the Tawabin. Wa mutta tahirin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.